keep on saying shift fabrication here. I got a neat little test I'm going to need to do. I have a personal project where I need to cut a couple one inch strips out of uh, titanium, and I chose titanium just because it has a natural springness or a spring temper to it that doesn't require heat treating. Now, my natural choice would always be go with stainless steel just because stainless steel is rust resistant. It's a uh, yeah, pretty much it's just always tough stuff, but titanium's tougher. How much tougher and how much better spring am I going to get out of this? So I'm going to attempt to bend this thing up, and you're going to see this and uh, to see the difference in degrees. So check it out. So I'm just going to do a simple test on, and yeah, this is uh, not accurate at all, but I just want to know how springy is it. So this is a 1-inch strip, 16-gauge also, type 3 or 4 stainless steel. So pretty much it's equivalent in size, but uh, yeah, I just peeled the plastic so you guys could actually see the polish on there. Anyway, let's see how much this uh, thing springs before it actually starts giving. We'll start with the stainless steel. Ten degrees. Fifteen degrees. Once it starts bending. Okay, obviously 20 degrees, which is bent even more. So 20 degrees was my maximum. And that thing's got a good, I want to say a three, three quarter gap. Titanium. I automatically know this is going to be tougher, but let's just go 10 to start with. Flat. 15. Flat. 20. Flat. 30. All right, not bad. And she just started bending. 35. That's still inaccurate. So, guys, right there, I was curious on how much spring is in a piece of titanium. No heat treat. This thing's just right out the box. It's already got a nice spring temper. It can be cut. It can be drilled. It is obviously tougher and a little, little stronger, but guys, thank you very much for watching. If this was helpful, if it was just uh, kind of satisfied your curiosity, please give it a thumbs up. Later.